Hello and welcome to this next tutorial in the Blender series in which we're going to talk about saving and backing up your work. So basically you're going to lose all of your work if you don't save and back it up often. This can't be said often enough. Um, you need to back it up and save it regularly. Saving files in Blender looks very different from what you would be used to with Windows or OS X on a Mac. So what we're going to do first is click File, Save As, and just have a look at the Save menu. And you can use the list on the left of the screen to navigate to your desired location. For example, a hard drive or your desktop. And I would recommend not saving things to your desktop, especially if you're working on college projects, because college computers tend to get wiped quite frequently. Um, so try to save it to a USB stick or an external hard drive whenever you can. Um, so we can create a new folder for your project here by clicking Create New Directory. So there's no Create New Folder or anything. It's called a directory in Blender. So just click that Create New Directory button and then give your new folder a name, My Project. And it's a good idea to save your file each time as a new iteration or version. For example, my project 001.blend, my project 002.blend, and so on. This way, if you, if you do make a big mistake or if you lose your work, you don't have to start again from scratch, but you are able to just go back a few steps without having to start again. Blender files are saved as .blend files, uh, the extension blend and blender 2.6 also saves thumbnails for quick preview of your files so we're, what we're going to do now is make a few changes to our cube um, I'm just going to use the scale tool here to make it a bit bigger going to rotate it slightly and now I'm going to click file save as I'm going to click the plus icon and Blender is going to automatically increase the version number for me. So we can see um, it's added a number to my file name. And Blender can also save backup files as .blend1 extensions. If, for example, your Blender crashes suddenly when you're in the middle of using it, um, it's a recovery file. So if you happen to end up with a .blend1 file, you can open that as a normal file by changing the extension to .blend. So you, you should be very careful of closing Blender without saving your work because the, the way the software is set up is that it assumes that you know what you're doing and unlike many other programs, it doesn't ask you if you're sure you want to quit. It just quits on you. So. Um, just be careful of that. Make sure you save your work. Don't close Blender unless you've saved your work first. But if you do happen to accidentally close Blender without saving, you might be lucky. And when you open Blender next time, you can click on File, Recover Last Session, and your work might be okay if you're lucky. So when you're saving your work, Blender will save it to the temp folder by default. This comes from the the fact that Blender was developed within a Linux environment. So often for Windows and Mac users, it's not the most convenient folder to find. So you should always change this before you save your work, or it may be very difficult or even impossible to find it. You can change the temp folder in the properties window underneath the output heading, and then you can just select your desktop or your USB stick or your external hard drive or wherever you want to save the output of your render file. So this has been a very quick tutorial on saving and backing up your work using Blender's interface.